welcome for today's video lecture of maths as you know that we are dealing with the fourth chapter of maths that is factors and multiples okay and we have learned many concepts in this chapter today the, uh, the concept which we are going to learn that is prime and composite numbers already one lecture i have given on the prime and composite numbers so today we are going to learn in detail what is the concept of prime and composite numbers okay and after understanding this concept you have to solve practice 4.9 which is based on prime uh, prime and composite numbers okay so let's learn what is actually mean by prime numbers and composite numbers so if you observe on the blackboard uh, on this board whiteboard i have uh, written some numbers and their factors numbers from 1 to 20 i have written and their factors I have written okay. So let's observe this. See uh, the number one and its factor is one. One has only one factor that one itself okay. Two has two factors one and two. That means two comes in table of one and two okay. Three has also two factors one and three itself. That means three comes in the table of one and three. Four has three factors one, two, and four. That means 4 comes in table of 1, table of 2 and table of 4. 5, 2 factors, 1 and 5 itself. 6 has 4 factors, 1, 2, 3 and 6, okay. So 6 comes uh, in these 4 tables. 7 has all, only 2 factors, 1 and 7. 8 has 4 factors, 1, 2, 4 and 8, okay. So if you uh, observe, uh, then you come to know that 8 comes in this uh, table of these 4 numbers. In table of 1, in table of 2, that is 2, 4 is 8, 8, 1 is 8, okay, this way. 9 has 3 factors, 10 has 4 factors, okay. 11 has only 2 factors, 1 and 11 itself. 12 has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and, uh, sorry, 4, 6, in total 6 factors, okay. 1, 3, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12 itself. So, 12 comes in these 6 tables, okay. 13 has only 2 factors, 14 has 4 factors, 15 has 4 factors, 16 has 5 factors, 17 has only 2 factors, 18 has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, total 6 factors, that means 18 comes in the table of these 6 numbers, ok, 19 has 2 factors and 20 has total 6 factors, understood, so in this chart, in this uh, table, if you also there are some numbers, there are some numbers which have only two factors, which have only two factors. We can say they have only two frames, they have only two frames. Which are such numbers having only two frames? Two frames means two factors. See, two. Two has only two frames, that is one and two itself. Then 3 also. Okay. Then 5. Then 7. 1 and 7 itself. Okay. Then here 11. Then there is 13, which has only two factors. Means it has only two frames. Seventeen, okay, and nineteen. So between one to twenty, we have found such numbers having only two factors, two frames. We have got okay. So in that first one is two. It has only two factors, one and two. Then there is three. It has only two factors, one and three. Five. Factors are 1 and 5, 7, factors are 1 and 7, 11, its factors are 1 and 11 itself, 13, 1 and 13, 17, 1 and 17, and 19, it has also two factors, 1 and 19. So, uh, if you uh, see these numbers, uh, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, say 17, 19, these numbers have only two factors, only two factors. And which are those two factors? There is also some, something common. If you observe, you will come to know that one is factor of 
out of two, one factor is one. Out of two factors, one of the factor is one. And the next factor is that number itself. Second factor is that number itself. See, one and two itself. One and three itself. Okay. One and five itself. One and seven itself. One and eleven itself. One and thirteen itself. One and seventeen itself and one and nineteen itself. Okay. So this is the pattern which you will observe. So such numbers having only two frames, only two frames. That means only two factors. The numbers having only two factors are called prime numbers. The numbers having only two factors, that is one and that number itself, are called prime numbers. Okay. So prime numbers is what the numbers having. The numbers having only two factors, and which that is that are one and the number itself. Such numbers are called. Such numbers are called prime numbers. Okay, such numbers are called prime numbers. And opposite of that, see these remaining numbers: four, six, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Except one, huh? except one. What is one that I will tell you afterwards? See, these four, five, these numbers have more than two frames, more than two factors. Okay, they have more than two factors. So such numbers are called composite numbers. The numbers having more than two factors, more than two frames, are called composite numbers. Okay. What about one that I am going to tell you after? After this, the numbers having more than two factors are called composite numbers. Understood? So in this chart, we have written numbers from one to twenty, and we have written their factors, and we have uh, made two groups of uh, numbers. The numbers having only two factors. Only word is very important. Only two factors, not less than two and more than two. The numbers having only two factors are called prime numbers. Are called prime numbers, whereas the numbers having more than two factors are called composite numbers. Then what about one? What about one? One has only one factor. One has only one factor. It it, it doesn't uh, suitable for the uh, definition of prime numbers also and definition of composite number also. So one is neither prime nor composite. It is not prime as well as it is not composite also. Okay, one is not prime, neither prime nor composite. One is neither prime nor composite. It has only one factor, only one frame. Okay, that is itself, itself. Sorry, itself. One itself. So it is neither prime nor composite. Okay. So uh, also you will come to know that which is the first prime number, which is first prime number. Yes, this is two. Two is the first prime number, right? First, or we can say smallest prime number or first prime number. The first prime number is two is 
the first prime number first or smallest prime number okay and which is first composite number which is first composite number c one is neither prime nor composite so this is not the uh, composite first composite number first composite number is 4 4 is the first composite number first or smallest composite number okay four is the first and smallest composite number understood <coughs> so now here we have written uh, numbers prime, uh, prime numbers we have got in 20 between 1 to 10 there are four prime numbers so between 1 to 10 there are four prime numbers so 3 5 and 7 Between eleven to twenty, there are four prime numbers: eleven, thirteen, seventeen, and ninety. Okay. So what we have to do? Enlist the numbers. Enlist the num prime numbers from one to hundred. One to hundred. How to enlist first prime to find prime numbers? Prime numbers between one to ten. Then you get these two, three, uh, five, and seven. Okay. Then prime numbers between eleven to twenty. Then you get eleven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, and ninety. Such. Okay. So likewise, you have to find prime numbers between one to twenty-one to thirty. Thirty-one to forty, forty-one to fifty, fifty-one to sixty. Likewise, till ninety-one to hundred. Okay, last hundred. So you will get total twenty-five prime numbers between one to twenty, uh, one to hundred. Okay, you will get total twenty-five prime numbers, which has only two frames, two factors. So if you know the tables till twenty, easily you can find the prime numbers between one to hundred. Okay. So this is the work for you. Uh, work for you for today. Uh, find the prime numbers between one to hundred in this way. Understood. So hope you have understood the concept of prime numbers and composite numbers. If you have any doubt, you can ask me. Uh, today you saw uh, you enlist these numbers. Find the twenty-five prime numbers between one to hundred. And tomorrow you have to solve practice four point nine. That instruction I give you later. Okay. So thank you for today and have a nice day